For several months now, I've been working on this broken dish mosaic to tile the shower in our schoolie. Almost the entire thing is made of colored dinner plates I broke into bits and made into this ocean scene. Now we just need to get it off the floor and onto the shower walls where it belongs. test yeah. patch today because it's time the time has come where are you gonna put it at this is gonna go just um, in the bottom half of the niche back here it's the water portion of the niche because the water level comes up equal with the top of this divider here okay okay Mike set up the laser level for me is that what it's called laser mm -hmm. level to mark my water lines your hands in the way and we have to wait for the bus to stop shaking Hard to write on this rough board. I feel like it's just destroying the Sharpie. Probably is. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this in half. You're so clever. And these I need to cut right here and right here. Okay, now we have to thin set. Priorities. Got to get charged up for the task at hand. Okay, you think I can do it? I think I know you can do it. I forgot my gloves. I kind of picked a hard spot to start on. Yeah. This was the spot that made the most sense to me, though. This is going to be behind the shampoo bottles. Like, yeah. if I mess this up, I can camouflage it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this forever. I know. The comments, man. It's when so, are you going to do this? It's so cool to me that people never forgot, no matter how much time went by. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest trowel. This little corner right here. Just, a, <clears throat> good catch, baby. Now what are you going to do with it? In my pants. New color. It's hey, not. I just totally covered up my line that I just drew. Do you do the top one or the bottom one first? I'm going to do the back side first oh there's my line right there yeah what is your big concern about this right here my biggest concern is getting the contact paper off without pulling the tiles back out of the thin set once it's dried sure so that's that's the whole reason for doing a test patch is because they don't really know how this is going to work. I'm just, we're going to find out the hard way. These, this is working great though. It's holding on to them nicely and yeah, totally. not losing them. I hope the grout does the same thing. Yeah, me too. Look at that! Nice! So That's far good. so good! Yeah! Actually! Totally cool! But this is going fast! No kidding! Let's see, I think I should do the two sides first and then the bottom last. impressive how this stuff just stays in there because it's it's really quite heavy mm -hmm. and it seems like it's just gonna come falling back off the wall again sure it's pretty impressive that this thin set actually holds it the way it does okay last one sweet this has gone pretty fast and easy yeah. I have to say uh oh oh we got a crowd up Oh, I just had to get it underneath. We're fine. We're good. Okay. Test patch complete. I feel like I just want to keep going now. I don't want to stop. Right. 
It was so easy. It was like. Yeah. Should I wait though? Should I wait? We should wait. We need to wait and make sure. Wait till it's dry and peel off the contact paper. Make sure nothing pops off so we know better. <sighs> okay. But, man, awesome job. High five. Ta-da. Low five. Low five. On my account. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our work is done here. Going into the bus, Carrie's about to put a, uh, do the test strips. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Oh, look at the difference. This part that I peeled the contact paper off of yesterday mm -hmm. has really, really thoroughly dried. And where I left the contact paper on, it's still wet behind Yeah, there. I thought that's what would happen. That's really interesting. But it comes off really easily and it doesn't pull the pieces out that's of this insect. Super good. That's exactly what I was hoping and praying for, that this was going to work. I had no idea yeah. if this was actually going to work. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. I know. That means my whole plan is coming together. This is really cool. There's going to be some tiling going on today. Okay. This is really cool. Oh, it feels cool. Okay. Let's do the first wall. Ready? Yeah, I guess let's do it. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Oh, wait a minute. I need to start from the top and work my way down. Because I have to start at the water line. Oh, right. You could probably take like 10 inch by 10 inch pieces. I don't want to get too adventurous. I don't want to get too big with them. In case pieces do start falling off or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one did start falling off right there. That one right there, yeah. Okay. This is the scariest part, picking it up like this. No kidding. Whoa, turn around. Is that backwards? What's going on? Yeah, I, a piece dropped off, so I have to stick it back on. Uh oh. Maybe I will just leave it like this. Oh my gosh, these pieces are falling off. Okay. Ooh. I know, it's stressful, isn't it? Yeah. I got messed up. Crap! It's just going to be time consuming. Mud. Excellent. Trowel 101. Like, this is not easy. <laughs> Just take it and go straight up like that. Yeah. That's it. Wipe it off. going to be okay because the other stuff's going to put up against it. There went one. Stay together, stay together, stay together. So we okay. have a little bit of issue of this stuff sliding down just by gravity called slumping. And uh, it, uh, we didn't realize it until we tried to fit the bottom piece and then the bottom piece like wouldn't fit. I think we did the stuff too wet then. I, I don't know. I would say yes. I wonder if I had too much thin set, and I wonder if that's why it's slumping. Could be. That would kind of make sense. Okay. 
I think this is fine. When I put it on thinner, it's not, I don't think there's enough of it to slump down. Like it's just adhering, okay. it feels like. Wow. Easy as pie. I'm just going to hold it for a while. <laughs> this is going to ruin my hands today, but I can't wear gloves because I have to be able to feel everything so delicately. Oh my God, I don't know what this matches up with. Uh. Oh no. <gasps> it just went down the drain. It did? Yes. What? The piece just went down the drain. Oh my God. Uh, oh, I might be able to get it. I'm wiping it out of those places because they don't get done till later. Ah, oh, this is making me happy. It's working. Job. Wait, what? I'm just like seriously doing this by hand right now. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Yay, I got the weight in. I was really, really stressed out about this going in right. Okay, this makes me happy. Everything is seating. You can feel it when it seats into the thin set. Yeah. Okay, good. And the little ones are hanging on just fine. These big boys need to get their act together. Oh, <gasps> goes to the other edge. Yep. It's already stuck in there. Oh my god. Oh. Flame sauce. Okay, the two goes down here. Big Bertha, let's get you on the wall. No, you're doing it. It's I know working. it's bomb diggity. Scratching with my fingernail totally helped keep those pieces 
Good. on even though they were dusty or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, last three sections. Ugh. Is that shell one you cut in half? Yep, see the back of it? Oh, yeah, look. It's cool, huh? You know what the easiest thing to match up on this is? Mm. The contact paper. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just matching up where the razor knife has cut. Otherwise it would be easy to get them too close together or too far apart, but that yeah. contact paper is giving me a perfect guideline. I can't believe you got a whole wall up here. I know, right? That's insane. Yay! Like wow. That's insane. I can't wait to start peeling the paper off and actually seeing what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, me too. Ready to see what it's going to look like? Mind you, this is like maybe 40 minutes since we did it. I think it's longer than that. I think I've been working slow. But this is so wet right here that I need to get some of this off. Yeah. There was just, the thin set was too thick right here. Sure. Clearly. Yeah, because they're still like slippery and maneuverable. I just really had it too thick. Yeah, in that section. Yeah, just right here. Because this was the first thing I did and I just wasn't familiar with it yet. Yeah. Okay, but now that I'm peeling this off, these will stay where I put them. Because nice. it's going to dry fast. Ooh, these have just like adhered solidly. I can tell yeah. by the way I'm peeling the paper, the contact paper off. Mm -hmm. Day two. I'm stressed out right now. <laughs> <sighs> this is how I felt yesterday when I started too, right? Yeah, I think oh yeah, definitely. Better. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Huh. I need to butter in this one little piece before I lose it. I can call it buttering it in. It's really buttering the back is would be the expression, but I wanted to put some on there too. Now, which way did this go? That way. It's so fancy. Looks really cool from here. Oh, does it? Looks awesome on camera. Good. Oh, I'm so glad these are staying stuck to the contact paper. The popsicle stick method worked wonders. <laughs> Sometimes I have this moment where I'm like, I can't believe this is working. <laughs> so excited. Like, this is how I planned it, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's still just surprising to me when I see it matching up. Like, I, I can't believe it's matching up. <sighs> very exciting. I like it when a plan comes together. That's right. I know what you mean. Oh, shit. Which way does it go? This way. <laughs> Fishes go upright. Yes. You can't tell, the fishes look the same. Don't be silly, obviously it would be obvious if they were upside down. That's the EAC. <laughs> First section of the EAC, and you know what comes next? Don't tell anybody, shh, it's a secret. Sit so excited, take that weight. I love how thick our wood is today. Yeah. It's really good. Keep that in mind. Guess what time it is? I know. Turtle power! <laughs> oh, till 2 to 30. Okay. 
Nate's, uh, what's his name? Um, Crush. Crush, yeah. Whoa, we have some slumpage. Saw that. <laughs> Ooh, right here. It's totally slumping. That's what I was, that's what I was noticing. And over to the right also. Crap. <laughs> I think this is the problem with working from the top down. I don't think it would matter. <sighs> Because it's gonna, if it's gonna slump, it's gonna slump into each other. True. Oh, now this one won't move. It's so weird how that works. You know what it is? Because hmm. these are actual tiles, and the back of them is white and like absorbent. Yep. Yep. And these ones are plates. Totally. And they're staying wetter in between. So I'm just gonna have to fudge it a little bit and work with it. Back to the EAC. Okay, just gonna keep going and hope it works. This is a really weird piece right here. <laughs> yeah, but obvious where it goes. Well, that was just the right plate for that shell. And the way you use the edge of the plate to darken the edge of the shell, um, it was brilliant. Yeah. This, did I tell you? I was watching Justin and Juby like just a week ago or something. They had an episode that it was all about their morning routine, mm -hmm. like their mornings for seven days in a row. And in one episode, she's serving him breakfast on a plate, and it's one of these plates. Wow. I was like, oh, it's our turtle plate. <laughs> Breaking the mosaic law. Right. <laughs> Moses is pissed. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go all the way down to the floor right now. Otherwise, it's going to get too difficult to. And then I'll just go in and get the other pieces. Okay. Oh, makes me so happy when it matches up like that. Yeah, I was thinking, watching that going, going, is that going to fit? <laughs> Wide load. Coming in. Wait, this doesn't go here. <laughs> I don't think that goes there. Oh, that I, picked up, I picked it from the wrong side. Yeah, that one goes there. Going quite swimmingly. <laughs> uh oh. This one might not be fitting. Does it look good from back there? Heck yeah, it does. Okay. I'm so close to it, I can't really see how it looks. I know, but from back here, it's like on the camera, it's the best because it's so wide angle, a little picture, like a cell phone picture, and it's beautiful. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is the moment of truth for the second wall of my mosaic because I did something a little bit differently on the second wall. When I did the first wall and I was picking up the sheets of contact paper, some of the tiles were falling off the back, I think because they were dusty, but that was a huge problem when I was trying to prevent that on the second wall. So I took a popsicle stick and I rubbed the contact paper really hard onto each and every single tile of the whole freaking picture. But now I'm a little bit nervous. I'm afraid that when I go to pull the contact paper off, it might be stuck on so hard that it just pulls the pieces right out of the thin set. So pray for me. <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna go. Oh, look, look, it's coming right off. I was stressing out for no reason. Oh my gosh, it's coming off super easy. 
Okay, this is going to be awesome. It looks so good though. Like the color pops because of the the dirty contact paper is gone and now what's left is just all this. Oh, oh, oh! What? You just lost a fish. Oh, two! I just killed two fish. Okay, they're going to have to go back in. I'm going to have to be more careful with the fish. Right, you're going to have to push down on them. Oh, that one popped too. Dang. Weird. I wonder why those little fishies are so fragile. popped off too. Weird. So weird though. Yeah, of all pieces, just those. Oh, this marble is going to come out of the turtle's eye. It still has another layer of contact paper though. This was the original layer from when I first built the turtle a long time ago. It stuck on really hard. Oh my god, the color is so vibrant now. Oh, a little piece of him fell out. What was he? Just a little tiny piece of brown tile underneath the eye. Oh, uh, crazy, the marble stayed. I know, it's not gonna stay long, but it's there for now. Oh, look! What? Right there where your finger is. What? Look at that tile. This, what? Oh, this one slid down. You'll probably ought to just pop him off and I put will. him back on again. I will, but I'm going to leave it there for now so it doesn't get lost. Um, I can take a, sta a you know, flat screwdriver and scrape the uh, yeah. thin set out of there and then fix That's it. That's weird how that one slumped. I know. That That's means strange. that it must not have been stuck to the yeah. contact paper at all. Right. You see a couple of gaps I could fix too, like just add small pieces into. It looks pretty cool though, what do you think? It looks so vibrant without that paper on it. It's beautiful. Like look at that turtle. Are Aww. you kidding me right now? That is amazing. Thanks. Who has a, a mural in their bathroom with a turtle in a regular house? You're going to have one in a schoolie. <laughs> Very good. Strong, strong work. So pretty beautiful. cool. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so um, we're going to stop at just these two walls for this video for now. So keep in mind, you will have a lot more to come as I finish this other wall and this side of the coral reef that goes over here. And then I still have to build all of the sky that goes in the whole mural. Now that I've gotten this out of the way in the back bedroom of my house, I can finish laying out the sky so I can finish the whole thing. So it's going to be a work in progress, but hopefully it goes a lot faster now than it has been going in the past. Stick around and see what happens next. See what I break. <laughs>